All right, guys, let's see our room. Look at how beautiful this like traditional home is. Very beautiful. Look at the details. Awesome. I love the porch. Ooh, driftwood, art piece. Oh, the nativity scene. Beautiful rocking chair. Look at the trimmings on the roof. Just beautiful. RJ, it's so nice here. Yeah. All right, let's see the room. Ooh. Oh, wow. <gasps> OMG. It's beautiful, my boy squad. Check this out. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's everything is so like antique looking. Oh my, look at this rocking horse. Wow, that's so cool. Sice, what do you think of the place? Oh my, I feel like we're in like total olden times. What do you guys think, Mabu High Squad? See the shell window? Just check that out. It's like Spanish colonial. Oh, beautiful. Look at this coffee table. Look at this. Holy speak. Speaking of like antiques, I wonder if this actually works. See that? Like old school vinyl player, old school clock. Everything is so vintage. If you're here in the summer, you got fans. We have citronella. Oh, nice. Lemongrass. These are legit antiques. Look at the fan. RJ. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at the fan. How amazing. Look at this phone. It's like the dial. How many of you watching remember this? I certainly do. The rotary phone. Oh, my, how interesting. Oh, is this the guy who wrote the Lupang Hinirang? Jose Palma, maybe. Because this place is dedicated to Jose Palma, the one who wrote the Philippine national anthem. The owners are actually the grandchildren of Jose Palma. What a neat thing. And to go upstairs, we gotta climb a ladder? Wow. The attic. the attic is up there. Okay, we're gonna explore that after. Oh, look at the bedroom. Ooh, I love it. Look at this. The furniture. I can't get over this like antique furniture. Look at that treasure chest. Wow. A hairy Asian. Hey. <laughs> oh my, look at the bathroom. RJ, look at the shower head. It really is that authentic antique. Like, look at the light switch. It, everything is so olden times. This is a shared washroom. Wow. Another room attaches to this bathroom. It's a bunk bed. Gorgeous. It's all, all really, really gorgeous. What a place. All right, guys. So if you're just joining us, welcome to the daily vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos. That's RJ Garcia. Here is our puppy Cypher. We are here at a place called Bahay Trinidad, which is in San Juan, Batangas. It's a three hour drive from Manila. And wow, I love the whole feel. Outside, it's so Philippine province. See, see it outside? It's just gorgeous. Coconut tree plantation. And RJ and I have planned to stay here for the next few days. <laughs> Should be fun. Interesting enough, this place doesn't have air conditioning, but it is cool here. It's like there is no need for it. It's actually kind of chilly in the evening. What's in here first? It's a bathroom. Oh, where's the light? Mm. Oh, bathroom. Another beautiful bathroom. Is this the shower? Maybe an extension. Oh, it leads outside? Oh, another room from the outside. Okay. So this leads to the side of the house. There is another room, the one that we saw earlier. And there's another room even. Oh, wow. All right, guys. I want to see what's in this attic. Look at it. Look at the ladder. What an interesting place, guys. See that ceiling? Beautiful. Oh my, what an adventure, right guys? Mabu High Squad, we love taking you to cool places like this. Oh wow, okay look. It really is just an attic. See those fold out beds there? You can lay them out here and people can sleep up here too. Wow. How many people can stay here? Maximum eight people are allowed to stay here. Wow. I love this place. Amazing gas lamp, but it's an actual light bulb lamp. You see, very clever. I love this guy. So our windows are here, but under the windows, there's like a secondary like ventilation window that slides open. I love that. Very neat. Very, very cool. What a place. I just love all the details. Look at this, a top hat and a cane. Seriously, how cute. It's like total Charlie Chaplin style. Guys, isn't this just beautiful? I mean, look at the place. It is just incredible. So, so beautiful. Love it so much. Mabu High Squad. Just chilling here. There's RJ in the room. And guys, I am amazed at how cool it is here. Like, 
both figuratively and literally. We don't have air conditioning. And I was like, okay, I'll have to just bear with the heat, no air conditioning. But I'm actually feeling nice. You like that window? Yeah, it feels so nice. Like, perfect temperature. RJ, will the Mabuhai Squad Farm be this cool in the night? Maybe. Because it's the province, right? Yeah. In the city, in Manila, I guess. Some places in Manila at night, it gets cool. Especially this time of the year. But out in the province, where you're far away from all of that concrete that stores heat during the day, it gets, like, actually pretty chilly. Saiz, do you like it here? You like it here? You want to go outside? Huh? What? <laughs> He's been checking out our room, checking out the bathroom. I believe he knows where to go to the bathroom in case he needs to. All right, guys, we Super are heading. Nice. Yeah, so nice out here. Look at that house. It's just beautiful, amazing. Air is so breezy out here. And I'm hearing like tree frogs. It's so beautiful, all the nighttime sounds here. So we've got Cypher in his crate. Um, we'll be letting him out in a bit. But guys, it is amazing out here. Now, RJ says, how many hectares? One hectare? One hectare. The entire property here at Bahay Trinidad, Bahay, by the way, in Filipino means house, is one hectare, and there are 100 coconut trees. Over 100. Over 100 coconut trees um, on the property. It's really amazing. We got our snacks, Kuya Roman. Yes, we're gonna have some drinks tonight on our first night here. Beautiful, so many insects, guys. All you insect nerds, you AC family, look at this grasshopper. And because there are insects like mosquitoes, we have the mosquito electrifying. Fire. We also are wearing our stickers. Cypher's crate also has stickers. He's had his um, heartworm shots, so we're not too worried about that because as you guys know, that's spread by a mosquito. And Cypher can just hang out here with us and bark at the random creatures he sees in the night or hears. Guys, I just realized I'm all in gray and it's the Ligaya shirt. Well, we're having a drink for Ligaya, the guysies, for great memories. And to you guys, thank you so much. Been reading all of your comments. Uh, and it helps somehow, like for the grieving process, to read your comments. It really helps. Cheers. OMG guys, <laughs> the lights just turned off. We're still here. And RJ, is that something we can expect in the province? Yeah, yeah. But they have a generator. Okay, they have a generator. But maybe for the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse, we get a generator yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. So like, from what I know, like living in the province, they, they call it brownout. Or is it brownout or blackout? Blackout. Brownout. Brown brown yeah, here in the Philippines, they call it brownout. These brownouts happen regularly. But yeah, we're hoping we get power again. That would be nice, because it's kind of scary. All I hear are frogs. It's not scary. <laughs> OMG Mabuhay Squad, we have spam, an egg. Is that kape? Oh wow, coffee at night? Why not? <laughs> Barako, which means like very strong coffee, guys. Mmm, salamat. Guys, the staff here at Bahay Trinidad is so good. They're amazing. They can cook for you, do some errands. They can cook food or oh, oh, shop for you as well. Just in the vicinity. Yeah, they're very, very good here. So guys, by the way, this place, Bahay Trinidad, is rented just by us. It's an Airbnb. You can find them on Airbnb. It's in San Juan. And so like we have this whole place to ourselves, honestly. Like ultimate social distancing. I can't wait to try this. Okay guys, let's eat. Mmm. After beer, food tastes so good. Okay, so I'm going to mix some scrambled egg with this spam. But guys, this Prem. is not spam. It's it's a brand called Prem. I don't know, it's less salty. Have you guys tried Prem? Any of you guys? Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. Mmm. So good. I love Prem. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> mm. Guys, haven't been able to sleep all night. It's 5 a.m. because there's a typhoon. It's scary, all the sounds. RJ's asleep. He's used to this. He is sleeping through this. I don't know how he's doing that. I'm hearing like thumps everywhere. The wind is so loud. There's no power at all like our fan stop so it's hot i'm just using my cell phone for a light right now it's scary it sounds like this house is gonna fall apart but i know it won't because it's a strong well-built house let's just do shadow puppets 
Apparently, it's signal number three here in Batangas. Manila is also experiencing a typhoon. It is so loud. It sounds like a humongous tidal wave it was like happening outside this place. Now this place apparently has a power generator. So in case of like blackouts like this, they can provide power to the place. But everyone's sleeping, I'm sure. <laughs> Note to self, Mabuhai Squad, we need an awesome big power generator at the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse, just in case of this kind of thing. Guys, listen to that. I heard things falling over in the other room. Scary. Oh my gosh, guys, look at it outside. <laughs> wow. Like, we were hearing coconuts and everything. Okay, I gotta close this, this window. Okay. OMG, guys. We just got power back. <laughs> Fan is back. Oh, wow. I guess the caretakers just woke up and they started the generator. This is just normal, basic. What do you mean normal, <laughs> basic? This was terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh. We experience typhoon every, like, every year, many times. Yeah. So, I'm used to it going up, like, 20 typhoons in one year, so. Yeah, but, I mean, when you're inside a building, you don't really feel it. You don't really experience. But in a house like this, you experience. Let me tell ya. Cyber's like, he's barking at something. Cyber's like, I slept through all of this. What are you guys saying? <laughs> he slept in his crate the whole night. Now you guys know why our future Mabuhai Squad farmhouse has foundations that are usually for tall, like high rise buildings. Because we want the house to be strong and withstand typhoons, which roll through like dozens of times every year. How many, I wonder how many typhoons the Philippines gets yearly? Sometimes more than 20. More than 20. <laughs> Sometimes. Like that. The Mabu High Spot farmhouse must be strong. So guys, I'm just admiring these beautiful paintings. Isn't that nice? So nice. Can you imagine living in these type? Oh, and there goes our power. <laughs> I was gonna say, can you imagine living in these times when they had no electricity? <laughs> Simply built homes and just nature. That's exactly what we're going through right at this moment. <laughs> we're, we're traveling back in time, guys. Where's our lantern, our gaslit lantern? G, Mabukai Squad. We just stepped outside and OMG. Check out the aftermath of this typhoon. 